what's going on YouTube today um, this is going to be a video that I'm going to do as a as a part one and two um, portion of it this is going to be the first part and then the second part well you'll see it's kind of like a surprise right now but just wanted to let you know um, or give you guys a, a bike update as far as what I'm going through right now with mountain bikes so I am approaching a year and a half getting into the sport of mountain biking started from scratch started literally from nothing doing my own research not even really knowing not any not oh gonna have to edit that part out not really even knowing anyone that was into the sport at the time and so doing all the research and homework on my own and if you've been following my channel if you look at the first channel I mean the first video that I did on this channel um, the first bike that I bought to mountain bike with was the Nashiki Colorado and I tell my story how I had to drive all the way to Gainesville and Dix was giving me a runaround and it was only like two bikes left in the state of Florida it was just crazy um, since then I have had a total of including the new epic that I bought six mountain bikes now you got to understand out of that six I had two Nashiki Colorados one was in North Carolina one was here I had two GT um, aggressor pros one was a size medium but then I exchanged it for a large because it just was it the, the fit wasn't all that great so if you count both of those bikes I mean I still had two bikes two different colors and two different sizes but I traded it in so technically I still had it but if you look at that um, take off one of the Colorados and one of the GT aggressors I had four bikes um, but if you look at those you know the the additional Colorado and the additional GT aggressor pro I had I had uh, six total I um, also had the Cannondale catalyst and I had the um, GT avalanche so going through all of those bikes I've had a ball I, I, I can't say that I've made a bad choice with any of them put a lot of money into upgrades I've upgraded all of them except for the Cannondale Cannondale when I just kept as is stock I didn't do anything to that bike and um, and so I had a lot of bikes but you know within this year and a half and so I've come to the conclusion that I don't want a lot of mountain bikes I want to narrow my bikes down to two bikes that's it that's the most that I want in my collection is two bikes at a time so if I get another bike I'm gonna have to get rid of a bike so I only want two and honestly I'm looking at just keeping just one bike right now but I'm still indecisive of if I want to do that or not and so to make a long story short I've sold every single one of my bikes except for the epic I've sold all of them recently within the last two months I've sold both of my Nashiki Colorados I've sold and one more of my GT aggressors and um, the Cannondale I sold a while back the other GT I sold a while back and the Avalanche I sold a while back so but within the last month or so I've sold I've sold three bikes now with that being said I was just gonna sell all of my bikes and just keep the epic right that was my goal then I started wondering online one day and I saw a deal that was really I couldn't pass up and I'm not gonna go into it's gonna be surprised on what bike I'm gonna I'm gonna unveil but um, or reveal but uh, this is a bike that I did test ride before and um, I did I did like it a lot a whole lot and I was able to get one for uh, a decent price when I sold all of my bikes, those three bikes recently, I had enough money to pay for half of the bike. And I recently sold five pairs of popular shoes that I've had recently and I made enough money to pay for the other half of the bike. So I was able to actually pay for this bike outright with selling a lot of stuff. And so, and then they were mostly shoes I wasn't even gonna wear that much anyway. So I was happy about that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to show you guys what the new ride is. So as of right now, I have two bikes. And these are gonna be the two in my collection. Now with that being said, um, I'm actually considering selling the Epic, believe it or not. And um, I know uh, I just bought that bike. I do like it a lot. There's no problems with it. I have no complaints about it. It is an exciting ride. It's been a fun ride. Um, 
But I'm gonna tell you why I originally bought the Epic. I originally bought that bike because I wanted to transition from being a avid runner since I was 14 years old or 13 years old um, until now. Um, because I can't run like I used to run anymore. I put a lot of miles on my legs, man, and my knees and, and legs just, and my feet just don't, they're not what they used to be. And so, um, and I'm talking about, you know, a lot of running, marathons, half marathons, 10Ks, 5Ks, plenty of them, cross country, track, in high school and in college, like I, I ran a lot. So I wanted to make that transition. And of course, going into something, you you, th you have it all planned out in your mind. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm no longer going to be a runner. I'm going to be, um, I want to go into the sport of cross-country mountain bike racing. I think that'd be fun. And so that was my intention. The thing of it is, is the reality starts to kick in. And I'm probably, I mean, I still can do it. I'm not saying that I wouldn't do it, but it's just not going to be how I thought it was going to be. Meaning that I was going to be really involved with it, doing it a lot more than I thought and with time constraints and work and all of that i probably just not i'm not going to be able to race in that sport as much as i thought so because of that that's the only reason why i would sell that bike and i still haven't decided 100 percent if i'm going to um i'm going to sell it the epic retails for i think it was 3100 plus tax I got about six hundred and fifty to seven hundred dollars in upgrades. The the drop receipt alone was was four hundred, so we're clo we're pushing close to almost four thousand dollars into that bike. And right now, if I were to sell it, um, I have it listed for three thousand, but I would probably go as low as twenty nine hundred or twenty eight five for it um, right now. It's not a scratch on that bike. I baby it. It's in the house. It's not even in the garage. Um, so I posted it up for sale and I got a few hits and I got some offers that are very close to what I would ask for it. But I just haven't decided if I want to pull the trigger to sell it yet. So I'm debating on that um, because I still might might use it for that sport and for what I want to do it for. But um, I just don't know yet. I just have to see, you know, also it depends on how long we're stuck in the house and how long this coronavirus thing is going to be going on. Um, but it's funny because, you know, I'm thinking, oh, it'll take a long time for me to uh, to sell this bike. But, you know, people people got the cash, man. They've been hitting me up. You know, hey, this is just a toy for me, but I'm interested in buying it. So it's interesting. You know, I've actually had probably more hits for the more expensive bike than I did for the Colorado. I'm going to talk about that in just a second as well. So if you're interested or know anyone that's interested, I live in Orlando, Florida, and uh, I do have it for sale. So just hit me up send me a message or something and I'll, I'll still think about it and debate it um that's with all upgrades as is it's a it's a dope bike man it's 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 lovely but again i still have not pulled made up my mind 100 percent if that's what i want to do now with that being said you may be thinking well why wouldn't i just use that as a regular mountain bike well i'm gonna tell you this and this is just my opinion and lawrence i know you're out there man shout out to you for giving me all the advice and hints and, and everything you're saying is correct but Here's how I feel about the Epic. Um, it's a straight racing bike, man. And to me, I'm not saying you can't use it for trails. I feel very comfortable on that bike when I'm not doing something very technical or, or something very sketchy on a trail. Meaning I'm not doing like small drops or large rock bed gardens or, you know, going up big stumps. Th that bike to me is not built for something like a regular trail bike would be built for like a Colorado or, you know, something like, um, I don't know, just something with plus size tires or fat tires or whatever. It, 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 it gains a lot of speed very quickly and it's very fun to ride it on a trail. But to me, it's just not the type of bike that I like to take on on very technical stuff. It, it to me, it's just I don't feel that comfortable on it, and it just doesn't feel right on certain on on certain trails that I've taken it on. Um, I feel more comfortable, like let's say, with the Colorado than I would with that. But at the same time, it's a very manageable, controllable, s stable bike that's fast as hell, and I do like it a lot. So. With that being said, I'm not saying that it's not trail a trail bike at all. I'm just saying certain things I don't like even attempting on that bike because it just doesn't feel like that type of bike, if that makes sense. 
If it doesn't, I can't explain it. Maybe it's just me and the way I ride and my geometry or whatever the case may be. Um, so that's that. So yeah, that's. I just wanted to give you guys an update on, on, on my bike situation. I'm really excited to give you the new video, which I'm going to post sometime before the weekend on what the new bike is. And I'm really excited about that. Let me tell you this, man. Selling a bike, a entry-level upgraded component bike has been the most interesting experience I've had in a while. But I also got to put myself in the shoes of somebody like I was about a year ago who didn't know anything or new to the sport and the way that their mind frame is. So one thing I will never do again is upgrade a uh, entry level mountain bike and try to sell it. Because those who are new to the sport don't understand about components then they don't understand about upgrades, they don't understand about performance. All they know is, is they've researched and heard about a certain bike and they look at that bike's price and that's what they want the bike for. So I'm just gonna give you an example, right? I had a guy um, uh, hit me up about the Colorado. Actually, I had many people hit me up about the Colorado, both of my Colorados. And they're like, hey, you know, I saw this bike was $400 at one point. Well, yeah, it was $400 around Christmas time, and it was $400 last year around for the July time, and that's the only time it went down that low. And if you didn't get them at that time, then you just missed out. Right now, that bike is $650 stock on Dick's website. So if you want a stock one, then go get a brand new one for $650. But here I am selling mine for very close to that price that has like $500 in upgrades, and people still look at me like I'm crazy as if like, oh, you're selling it for what I can get it for brand new. Well, yeah, but I've upgraded the crank set to a SRAM NX crank set. I upgraded the bottom bracket to a SRAM bottom bracket. I upgraded the pedals. I upgraded the handlebar to a race face carbon fiber handlebar. I upgraded the race face stem. I upgraded the, I mean, the seat. I mean, I had so many things upgraded on that bike. And people still they don't care about all of that. They don't care about components. Oh, this is what the bike's selling for. This is what I'm this is what I'm gonna give it to you for. And then finally I started meeting people that really understood about components. And the ones who really knew a little bit of bike about bikes were the ones that ended up buying my bikes. The ones that didn't have a clue were yeah, it, it was just crazy going into discussions about, you know, components and stuff on there, because they just want a bike for what whatever the cheapest price they can get it for. So what ended up happening on one of the Colorados, I had to take off about half the components I put on there and almost sell it half stock, you know, um, with just a few upgrades on it. And then people were, you know, easily sold with no problem. So I'm sitting on like a carbon fiber, uh, you know, race face handlebar right now and some other components that I don't really need, but you know, I wasn't gonna throw them on there for free. so. I took them off and I gave the people what they wanted. They want a basic stock bike, then that's what you can get. So, but for everyone out there that's watching this, if you're new to this sport, if you can buy a used bike that's already upgraded, that's great. But if you want to buy stock, you can. Like I had a guy hit me up yesterday. He just bought a Marlin 6 and he was like, hey man, um, what upgrade should I do to my Marlin 6? I'm new to the sport. I've heard I need to get this, I need to get this. And I told him, I said, don't upgrade anything on that Marlin 6. Don't, uh, don't upgrade nothing. Ride it till you get comfortable with it. And when you decide you're ready for to upgrade your bike, just up, just sell that bike as is and then upgrade to a different bike. Cause you you go out there and throw, you know, a, 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 a um, Fox fork on it or, you know, throw some, uh, whatever, uh, a, a one by drivetrain on it or whatever the case may be, put about six, $700 in that bike and then try to sell it a year later and see how much you get for it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even worth doing that. So just uh, just a tip, because I just went through it, man. Um, people don't want to pay for upgrade, upgrade, upgraded entry level bikes, man. They want to get it for the low. And so just keep that in mind. If you decide to do that, you're not going to get your money back out of it unless you just sell it back stock. Um, and also just keep your, your bike maintained. You know what I'm saying? Now the Epic is flawless. My, my Epic has not one scratch on it. It's absolutely flawless. And I haven't put that many upgrades in it. I mean, the dropper post was 400. That was the, the biggest thing. The pedals were 100. And uh, yeah, what else did I do to it? I think that's about it. Uh, no, something else to it. I can't think. But most people who've hit me up understood. They, they know that I'm in the fair price range. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm trying to get over on anybody or anything. 
I just ask that, you know, I wish people would be fair back when it comes to selling this stuff, man. It's interesting. So, that's about it. Um, I'm done with bikes, man. I am done with bikes for a very, at least I'm going to say for another year, maybe year and a half. After this bike that I just got, I'm, I'm done with it. I, I have no need for any new bike anytime soon. And I am not stepping into the three to $4,000 range for a bike. I just can't do it. I can't right now. And it may change as I get older, but right now I just can't fathom, you know, buying a bike that's the same cost as a as a decent used used sports bike, you know, motorcycle. I, I just I can't see that. Um, I came very close to buying a Santa Cruz bike, actually. Um, very very dope bike. I wish I had the money, but it was a thousand dollars more than what I paid for mine. I just couldn't I couldn't drop that. I couldn't drop another thousand more. But it was definitely worth it if I would have paid the difference in price. So so other than that, guys. Thanks for everyone who's been sticking with me through day one. I want to shout out these people in particular. Lawrence has been 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 you know definitely um, chiming in all the time and, and checking out my channel, and I really appreciate that, man. Um, Crankzilla, I want to shout out to you, man. Crankzilla's been out there. He's local as well. Um, he's always been been giving me tips and giving me advice and 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 supporting me, and I appreciate that. And I do the same. I'm subscribed to your channel as well. And um, time for fun. Shout out to you too, man. I'm subscribed to you and thank you for always chiming in and, and, and showing support as well. And it's more of you, it's more of you guys out there who've been who've been emailing me questions and sending me messages and stuff like that. And I, I shout out to all y'all as well. But my day one supporters, I really appreciate it. All my family out there, I really appreciate it. I hope everyone's still being safe. And again, I know this is a, a, a hard time for everyone. Money is very tight. I didn't spend any money out of the bank. I didn't send, spend any new money for this bike. I sold stuff to get this bike. And it's amazing how much stuff you may have in your house for sale to buy new stuff. So this is a time where it's spring cleaning time, man. Go in your house, find stuff, shoes, clothes, old bikes, whatever the case may be, sell it. Offer up, let go, Craigslist. Those are my three things to go to. And you'll find some really good deals out there, man. So so just keep that in mind if you guys are looking to upgrade as well. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Be safe. Peace.